say you are what you eat, so I don't eat chicken feet. But I love me some of Grandma's pickled beets. Well, cut it up, put it in the pan, throw it over your shoulder and see where it lands right here in the farmer's kitchen. Maters, taters, beans and corn, the cows in the barn and the sheep's been shorn, kids in the barnyard chasing Grandpa's chicken. chicken, chicken. Spices, slices, cuts and dices, gonna slash your grocery prices right here in the farmer's kitchen. Your garden good with recipes to suit your mood. Try some grub you've never tried before. Smash it with a wooden mallet. Gonna educate your palate right here in Farmer's Kitchen. In town, Farmer's Country Kitchen. We're gonna cook something good now. Funding for Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen brought to you by. Woods Equipment Company has every tool you need to make working the land as rewarding as hunting. L81 Bottling Company. Taste, love, and share the tradition. Rose Farm Supply. Family farming and commitment to our customers since 1982. House warmings, meeting all of your outdoor living and fireplace needs. Well, hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Well, we're actually in Tim Farmer's Country Garden right now. It's a lot of hard work. It's hot. I could be doing other things, but you know what? When those tomatoes are ripe on the vine and when those cabbage are ripe and I make some coleslaw or I make some heavenly sauerkraut like Lois showed us how to do, it's all worth it. You know what? The country ways are the best ways. Now, speaking of that, I like me some biscuits. Now, nobody in the world makes better biscuits and biscuit mixes than the Weisenbergers. Now they're coming over tonight, the Weisenbergers, and they're gonna show us how to make some biscuits, and we're gonna have them drop in from time to time to show us some of their mixes, and before long, we're gonna have the perfect biscuit from scratch from Mrs. Weisenberger. But you know what, tonight we got a great show for you. I get tired of the same old thing over and over again. I absolutely love lamb. We're gonna talk about the big green egg a little bit, show you how to get it going, show you how to get it fired up, and show you how good it is to cook on. But first, we talked about the Weisenbergers. Now let's go see them up at the Harvest Cabin. Who's this guy standing in Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen with the Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen apron on and Weisenberger mix? Who are you? How you doing? I'm Philip Weisenberger. What's going on, nice Philip? Good seeing you. You know what? Uh, occasionally we stop by and peck on your door and we grab some product. Yes. And, and I've been watching you guys for years. Uh -huh. I'm fascinated. As you can see with antiquity, your place is so cool. To see to see the inner workings of that place and yeah. the and the antiquity when stuff was made to last. Uh, yeah, I know. It's pretty amazing sometimes when you think about it. The, the building's 100 years old. We've been in business since 1865. Wow. Um, I was born in 1863. You're looking pretty good. Thank you very much. Doing good. <laughs> now, we, like the, the current mill was built in 1913, and we wow. still use a lot of the same equipment and do things the same way. When did the first Weisenberger come into these parts? My great-great-great-grandfather, Augustus Weisenberger, he immigrated from here from Germany, and he ended up in Midway and purchased a mill there in 1865. Right in that spot? In that same spot. Gotcha. Yeah, he, he bought a mill right there. Eventually, that building kind of deteriorated, and it built, developed a crack in the side, and they, they tore that building down in around 1910 or 12, and ground up the rocks and made the concrete for the current mill that we have now. We had the opportunity to come in and, and look around, and it's just absolutely beautiful. It's a piece of history. It must be cool to be able to, first of all, a lot of people can't trace their roots back that far. It must be cool to be able to go back and say, hey, my great, did you say great, great, great? My great, great, great grandfather. Yeah, I'm a sixth generation, so. Yeah, you know, it is pretty interesting. You know, as a, as a younger kid growing up out there, probably didn't think it was that neat, but uh, as you grow older, you start to appreciate those things. I started working there when I was about 12, so. 
pushing a broom and doing those there, kind you, of There weren't any uh, child labor laws violated. No, really. there was nothing. You don't like want to complain to your no. boss and dad. <laughs> you got to complain to the boss. And you had to go home with the boss. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you have a fascinating family story. We are so glad that you're with us. Everybody knows who you are. People love your product. It's If it's not Kentucky Proud, I don't know what is. Well, we appreciate Generation that. after generation after generation. That being said, I'm starving. So what can you do for me today? Well, today I'm going to make uh, some cheesy drop biscuits. Cheesy drop biscuits. It's super simple. Mom showed me this recipe, and all you got to do is use a package of our mix, one cup of shredded cheese, and a half a cup of buttermilk, and you mix it up. So That's get, it? Now, that's, you, used, that's you mentioned it. something, too. There's something else you can put in there if you want. Which I like the sound of that too. It's can, sausage. Sausage. Yeah, you could take a cup of sausage in addition to all this. Now, do you pre-cook the sausage before yeah, you put it in to kind of crumble it up? That's right. You're gonna pre-cook that sausage, crumble it up, and then you'll add that in there. So I'm just gonna take this cheese and dump that in there right there with the with that with that biscuit mix. All right. So we need to incorporate the cheese a little bit into this. Gotcha. So, so so your cheese is divided out, I guess, a little bit amongst the mix. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. If I can make this, I think anybody can make it. So we're gonna take a half cup of buttermilk. You, you can, like buttermilk, don't you? Yeah, buttermilk uh, does add a little little extra kick to this kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, you can use See, water. I'm right there with you on the buttermilk. You can use water in this stuff, but butter, if you've got buttermilk or milk, there's a There's a tang there that's just absolutely yeah. wonderful. You know, over the years, I'm sure you've, you've changed things and developed things, but I think the best thing you ever did was, was to make things available for folks to it's right here in one package when did you start the single packages for the different products you know i think in the early 1970s my grandfather he started developing these mixes mm -hmm. um, before that time it was just um, we made flour and cornmeal right so he developed a line of these mixes and it is simple i mean you try to make a, a good quality product that tastes almost as good as homemade right. scratch um, but it takes a little extra step out of it. So. Well, you've done the work for the most part, which is absolutely fabulous yeah. because it saves me the time and yeah, anybody so sometimes else. Sometimes you don't want to go through the steps, but they're not that difficult. So what we're going to do here, I've got my pre-greased muffin tin. And when you say drop biscuit, basically you're just going to take an ice cream yeah, scoop. Yeah, so we're not going to roll them out. We're just going just to take an ice cream scoop, mm -hmm. kind of level it off. Pretty easy to do this. We need to, at this point, think about what we're preheating the oven at. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go to 450. 450? Uh-huh. How long? We're going to kick, cook them about 10 to 12 minutes. And so these are going to get the top, because the cheese on there, the tops are going to get kind of dark. But you got to, you know, let, let them cook. The cheese is going to blacken up a little bit on top. Probably not black, just a little dark brown. But don't get worried. So let's, let's throw them in the oven. All right. It sounds like a plan. And there we go. Now, I've heard a rumor that you know the Biscuit Queen, and I heard that she's gonna come out and make scratch biscuits. Yes, yeah, so mom is the Biscuit Queen, she is. She's blue ribbon biscuit maker, so she's gonna come out and show you how to make biscuits from, from flour, scratch, from shelf the way they should be. Yep, roll them out, cut them out. It's a pretty simple process, just three ingredients, but man, they're good. Three ingredients, that's I like it, that. That's it. I like I mean, it already. You know, so we're going to check those in 10 minutes. Let's get this cleaned up here a little bit right here because we're going to have something to eat. Anyway. All right, let's, let's make a space. All right, I got to ask you. All right. What do you think about the new Kevin? It's excellent. The Harvest. It's got a lot of charm. This thing's Isn't it nice? Of, yeah. Does it not make you want to, we're going to get a, you know, we're still kind of, when we haven't shown the whole cabin off yet, we've still got to show you the little table yeah. and the, this area over here and the loft. Oh, that's great. And we're, we're going to get a couch over there that has a, has a rollout. Yeah. And this is going to be our little getaway. Camp out here. Isn't it cool? Yeah. Well, you know what? It has been exactly 11 and a half minutes. I think they're just about ready. Right. I'll open it and take them. I'll get them. What do you think? I think they're good. Let's yeah. get them out of there. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Now that's just perfect. Look I like that. to see my cheese a little brown like see that. that. So we'll let them, we'll just go throw them here on the cooling rack. All right. Those are pretty. And these go great with, you know, just by themselves for soup, or chili, or, you know, anything like that. They can be an appetizer. Yeah. And then if you wanted to put some, some sausage in them, you've got your own little meal. I'm thinking all kinds your of stuff. Portable meal. What if you put, <laughs> let's just go crazy here. Yeah. What if you put like some Kentucky beer cheese and jalapenos in there? Oh, man. I think huh? That's a pretty good little idea, too. Oh, very well. We may have to experiment with that one. All right, let's give it a few more minutes. And yeah. then I got to try one. I can't be looking at it.
You know, if you want to find this stuff, our mixes locally, you can maybe Good Foods Co-op in Lexington has a I love those great guys. selection of all of our products. They're, they have racks and racks and racks. Yeah, that's that's where we get a lot of stuff. All right, I'm gonna have to try one. All okay, right, I jump can't. in there and right. get you one. Got your approval? Oh, yeah. All right. Can I eat them all? You can. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So you can have one. All right, I get one. Because you get them all the time. Yeah, so I'll have one. You can have one, I'll eat the rest of them. No, no, no. You're gonna no. eat. I, I like now, you mentioned Good Foods. Mm -hmm. I got an idea. All right. Let's go visit them right now. Let's go to Good Foods. We're with Christy at Good Foods Co-op. Good to see you. You know what? I'm seeing a lot of little blue signs. Yes. Which means? Local produce is arriving daily. I absolutely love this time of year. Now my garden, it was out late because we had frost late, but that doesn't mean you can't come in here and look for a blue sign. Exactly. And you know where stuff's coming from. We talked about exactly. this last year. This is from Casey County, Casey Organics. Exactly, and that's what we want to tell people is if you're wanting to buy local produce, which who isn't, yeah. wanting to support the local farmers, come into Good Foods Co-op, look for the Kentucky blue signs. That's the easiest way them. around the store to see them and to know that that's miles away, you know, your next door neighbor. Now, some people may think organic is fancy smancy for this or that or the other, but you know what? I don't want pesticides right. in my food. I am willing to pay a little bit more, and it's not a lot more. Right. As I look around, I'm, I see radishes, I see... Great salad. Kale, chard. Right, the tomatoes up front, we've got yellow, red, green tomatoes. I mean, who doesn't love fried green tomatoes? I don't know, but if they don't, we need to go visit them and have a talk with them. Exactly, exactly. We won't get violent or anything. But you know, as we look around, we see organic fruit. I don't care where it's from, if it's organic, we know that that means, of course I'd rather be from Kentucky. Sure. But that means that we're taking in things to our body that are not sprayed with chemicals. Correct. You know, we're talking produce right now, but right around the corner, there's dairy. Correct. You can look at the cream and know it's from, you know, Rockcastle County, wherever it exactly. may be from. JD's milk, right? On around the corner, we got the meat from Marksbury, right. wherever it may right. be from. This is wonderful, wonderful once again. And tell us again, if you will, sure. what is a co-op for those sure. who don't know? We are a locally owned grocery store. We have um, close to 7,000 owners. Anyone can be an owner for as little as $25 a year, and you actually get a share. You get a, a certificate saying that you own part of the co-op. So you get to buy into the store, but anyone is welcome to shop here anytime. I'm going to start with the kale, go back to the tomatoes, go back to the radishes, get some greens, then I'm going to come back up and I'm going to get some apples, then I'm going to go back and get some meat, then I'm going to get Perfect. some cream, then I'm going to go over here, then I'm going to go over there. You're helping the local economy. And if somebody wants to come here who's never been here, right. what's your address? 455 Southland Drive. I'm talking yum. Yum factor up the charts. We don't necessarily have all the stuff out of our garden yet, but I, yes, I am paying more attention to what I'm putting in our body. We pay way more attention to our health when we get older, I think. Why don't you get ahead of the game if you're younger and quit putting pesticides in your body? Be careful. Go this route. It's right here in front of you. Okay, you may pay a little bit more. It's your body. All right, Nikki just got her some kind of a trail mix, which looks absolutely wonderful. But you know what? For those who don't come down the bulk foods aisle, how do you do this? You start talking about this peanut butter. Oh, it's fantastic. Let's I can tell you I eat it with a spoon. Let's literally show you how to label it. Here, I'm going to hand okay. you this. Okay, great. I'm going to hand you this because I want some of that. What we do is I personally love this grind your own honey roasted peanut butter. And all you got to do is put your container underneath, hit the start button. It just kind of grinds it there. You can even start to smell it. Get as much as you want. Hit the stop button. You can and there feel you it's go. even warm on the bottom because, like I said, freshly oh, ground. You know, I don't, you can weigh it if you want, if you know, if you're working to make sure you have a certain amount for a recipe or whatever. That's exactly how much it is. That's Point exactly how much it is. <laughs> this is the hidden gem of the store. I just think a lot of people don't realize that we have it, and it's such a, um, an, an asset to have because people can come here and if they just need one bay leaf, they can get one bay leaf. 
Or if you just need a teaspoon of um, chipotle chili peppers, you can get just a teaspoon. We have a variety of things of, you know, that are here for, for, for our shoppers. And then the bulk teas over there as well um, wow. for the tea drinkers and whatnot. I've walked right past this and not seen this. I think a lot Pay of people do. To the, to I think spices. a lot of people do. And like I said, it's just going to be, it just helps your overall cooking experience because you're really using something that's really fresh. Yeah. And you don't, sometimes you don't need to buy eight dollars worth of, of something Correct. for a recipe. Well, and especially when you don't know if you're going to even like that recipe and yeah. going to want to make it again. So it's almost like just as we encourage people to experiment and try food. And that's the other great thing about the co-op is that we have 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you do not like anything that you buy here, you can return it for your money back. Because we want you to try things. We want people to experience food. We want people to have Try fun. some grub you've never tried before. Exactly. That's what I'm exactly. talking about. How'd you like those cheese biscuits? They were very yummy. You know what, he was talking about his mom. She's gonna stop by she's talking about uh, the perfect biscuits every time with three ingredients. I need to learn how to do that. I'm looking forward to that. Me too. We'll I see too. that next week. From the Biscuit Queen, Mrs. Weisenberger. Anyway, let's get, our, let's get our brains off the bread and to the meat. Okay, at Good Foods, we picked us up a Kentucky lamb. And let me tell you something, if you haven't tried this, you got to try you some lamb. We got a boneless leg of lamb, and we've got the big green egg, and what else do you need? A few ingredients. Pepper. Let's put some pepper on it. I don't like to put too much salt on my lamb. I like a big bunch of pepper, and I'm gonna come back. Now, you could slice you some little holes in there and put you some fresh garlic, or we're just gonna take some fine garlic powder and put on here. I like, you can't, you almost can't put too much garlic on there. Really? I'm serious. Okay. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't tell you no distruth. Then we come back with some basil pesto. Now, we could mix up our own, but we're not quite there with our spices yet. They're getting there. Now, that's what it's gonna look like. Now, what I'm gonna do is get my big green egg up to 400 degrees, and I'll plop this on my plate setter. Oh, I can imagine, you know what it smells like. Get, put some big hunks of hickory on there, then I'm gonna set that on there. Now, a meat thermometer is vital here. Now, we like our lamb rare. I'm talking 125 rare, which is rare. It's perfect that way. Though. We'll set it off at 125 and let it set and get up to about 130. But let's go ahead and grab that if you want okay. to and go over to the big green egg. All right, let's talk about the big green egg because everybody asks me all the time, do you really use the big green egg? We use it constantly. Now, there's a reason why. I like charcoal, but I tell you what I don't like. I don't like the chemical process of starting the charcoal generally, which is using charcoal lighter fluid, which is, you know, bad for you. It's carcinogenic. You use these, the charcoal starters. You don't have to use lighter fluid. No chemical additives, and you put that right in organic charcoal and you light about four of them, three to four. Leave the top open until you get a good fire going. Then you close the top. You adjust the bottom, you adjust the top, it's airflow. So you can set your temperature. Most of the time with a traditional grill, you lose all your heat through a thin metal top, worthless. With these, they're very heavy. They retain all that temperature. They retain the moisture. You can walk away and know once you've got it set that it's going to maintain that temperature for as long as you'd like it to and you're, until your charcoal's gone. It's fantastic, it's wonderful, and the flavor is absolutely out of control. Now, I have a plate set around here. I'm going to call Nikki over and I'm going to have her grab this lamb and I'm going to burp this so no flames pop out. Right in the middle? Right in the middle. Listen to the sizzle. Now, I've got this set for 400 degrees and that's where it's going to stay. And once I've got that in there for about 40 minutes or so, I'm going to start checking that internal temperature. And when it gets up to that 125, 130, if you want it a little more done, you probably want it 140, 145. Here is a wine sauce that goes absolutely wonderful with this. Here's something we did on a previous show. We use it every time when we have lamb. It's quick and easy. Nikki's going to come back with a potato dish that you can slide right in under this lamb. It only takes about half an hour. So we could cook them both at the same time and that's what I'm talking about. So what are you gonna do with these taters? Well, this is easy, and this is something we can put, we've done it before in the big green egg, and it can cook under the lamb, so we can kind of layer it. Mm -hmm. And I've already boiled these potatoes, because it's gonna help them cook quicker. You gotcha. don't have to, but if you don't, you have to let it cook a little longer. So I'm just gonna do some little slices, and we're gonna do layers. Let's go ahead and put, let's layer these. I'm gonna give you these if you wanna help 
Just flatten them out just in there. Just them around. Yeah, just kind of flatten them out. And this is simple, just any kind of mayonnaise. Okay. And it's something about, and we're gonna have, we have some Velveeta cheese, and there's something about Velveeta and mayonnaise when they mix together, it's mm -hmm. delicious. This is easy. This is so simple. But it's good. I'm just gonna skirt it around in there. Nothing fancy. All right. How's that look? I like it. Let's get a little bit of cheese. And we shredded the Velveeta, because Velveeta's your best. And then? And then? So it's onions? These are onions, and I, I actually shredded these. Okay. Kind of makes them more, that way, I like them like that better. They're like thinner. They, and they cook, kinda, they cook they, quicker, and, and, the, they disappear. and the, the flavor spreads around through there. They kind of disappear. And let's just repeat. I'm gonna well, cut these. Well, does the bacon and olives go on the top the at the very end? top, okay. yep, that's the end. So if you wanna grab those and put those on, let's make another layer. And I think more taters. We'll just do two layers because we want this to cook quicker. You can do this as big as you, you could do a huge casserole. And again, you, you already boiled these potatoes. Right. We could layer these three and four high if we wanted, depending on how big your dish, but this is just... So in essence, this stuff's just going to kind of melt together. Yeah, right. And it's just you and I, so we're making it small. It's going to gooey. Right. Get gooey together. So just mayonnaise. Not Miracle Whip mayonnaise. Did I get you? <laughs> All right. Did I get you a little bit? With the onions and, and the mayonnaise. I got you with everything? That makes yeah, it taste better. Yeah, that's nice. Mayonnaise. That'll smell good. Let's the dogs will eat me alive. Really? Onions. And I'm going to go ahead and grab them. And then the bacon? That's it. We're going to put, I like olives. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like You don't like have it. to use these if you don't I like I like it. It, just for, it gives it a salty flavor. Even if you don't like olives. I'm glad I yeah. didn't eat all those while I was sitting there looking at me. And then just some bacon. I don't know anybody who doesn't like bacon. I could eat that raw. If you want to put a little salt and pepper on the top and let's just put that underneath our lamb and let that steam and cook. Too bad this isn't smell of vision. Is this not, not one of them? There's, I'm hungry. Uh, it's just some magic. Now we walked away, 400, still 400, because I got the top set, I got the bottom set. Let's open this thing up. Oh my. Now we did sneak some asparagus on here. Flip that up, let's look at your potatoes. Oh, They're perfect. oh yum. Perfect. Let me check my temperature real quick. And we are, we're getting there on the temperature. So let's give it a few more minutes. Get some plates and eat. Get some plates and we're going to be ready to roll. That is so simple, your asparagus. Wrap it in bacon, it gives it a little bit of a fatty taste, a little bit of a bacon taste. Look at the lamb, smell That's the perfect. lamb. That, we're not gonna be able to eat for another six months till it, <laughs> so till it cools down, but the smells that are rolling off here, no kidding. But you know what, let's go ahead and cut a, cut cut a, a piece. piece off of that front end. Wow. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> mm. That is delicious. Lamb's always good. But when that smoke rolls on it, that little wonderful tool over there called the big green egg, it's absolutely wonderful. You just have to try it. You'll say, oh, he's just, he's just, he's just talking about it. You try it. You make your own choices. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page, Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen, and like it. we got folks from all over the world who've joined us and like what we're doing. People have been asking for a tour of the cabin. We're going to do that shortly. Got all kinds of fun stuff coming up. TimFarmersCountryKitchen.com. If you have missed an episode or two or five, check out TimFarmersCountryKitchen.com. Click on Shows, then YouTube, and you can watch all our stuff. Bottom line is, we got some food here that we need to eat. That means I need to quit talking. That's right. Was this not a pretty meal? Yeah. I think it's one of the prettiest, tastiest, countryest, yummiest Kentucky meals we've had in a long time. That's delicious. Remember, it's all about... Good times. Good friends. And good eats. See you next week on Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Some good pieces there for you. To order a cookbook or DVD of the show, please call 502-319-0487 or email timfarmerck at gmail.com. Chrisman Mill Vineyards, Good Foods Co-op, 
Kinco Farm Fence Supplies, Kentucky Beer Cheese, Polecat Custom Smokers, Tater Knob Pottery and Farm, Weisenberger Mill, and Tim Farmer Productions. Funding for Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen brought to you by Kentucky Sheep and Goat Development Office. Try something different tonight. Salt Rocks, the flavor of life. Harvest Energy Solutions, Harvest Cabins, when you absolutely have to get away.